Hello folks, welcome back to our Founding Liars, the most important channel on the internet. It's me as always, the host. How's everybody doing today? That's great, I'm glad to hear it. Just a second ago, I informed you that this is indeed the most important channel on the internet. Not necessarily the most controversial, however, they often overlap, as you can imagine. And today's episode might be one of those episodes because it's more of an opinion piece than anything. And as we all know, opinions tend to be controversial no matter what they are. And I, I think I'm entitled to an opinion, so let me just, you know, let me clear my throat and get this out, okay? Uh, I want to talk about James Bond. Why? What the heck does James Bond have to do with this channel? Uh, just stick with me, you'll see. And I think you already know. 007, it's a movie series uh, starting from the 60s about a secret agent in the United Kingdom. James Bond. Now, there have been several actors that have portrayed this man since the 60s, starting with Sean Connery, and then, you know, uh, Pierce Brosnan was one of them, and those are the only two you really need to worry about. What's going on right now? What's trending? What's hot? What's BuzzFeed all buzzed up about? Let me tell you. Uh, there's... I don't know if it's a debate. Maybe I should have done more research on this, come to think of it. They want to replace Daniel Craig with, um... Another actor, an actor who I forget the name of, but who happens to be a black male. And yes, this is important to the story, as you can probably gather already. There are two uh, camps here. One that's like, oh no, we can't be a black guy because, uh, you know, James Bond is supposed to be a certain way. And the other, and the other uh, side is like, ah, why can't he be a black guy? You guys just don't like diversity, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, my opinion. I don't know why either of these parties care about who's casting as James Bond, considering the whole series revolves around a shape-shifting reptilian. Think about it, because the whole concept of James Bond is that he's a reptilian shapeshifter who's working for the British government. So of course he's going to have a different form every movie. Everybody's like just concerned about whether the reptilian changes into a black guy. I think the point is that it's a freaking reptilian that's representing the United Kingdom. If you care about what a reptilian looks like, that's on you. Personally, I don't want reptilians on the big screen at all. And, uh, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. If you do, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and all that stuff. And uh, most importantly, 